Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for your introduction and thank you very much for your invitation to be here with you in this Soil for Africa webinar. It's a great pleasure for me to be here with you today. As uh, Dr. Jemi has already explained, ensuring food, global food and nutrition security is one of the main objectives of the EU-Africa scientific cooperation, where both continents join forces to address current and future challenges faced by African and European agri-food systems, such as the climate change, the pest outbreaks, the land degradation, and emergence crisis, crisis like the COVID-19 that we are currently facing. Let me remind you, as you already heard, that this project was funded in the context of the implementation of the EU-Africa Partnership on Food Security and Sustainable Agriculture. We call it the FNSSA. Since 2016, this partnership has specifically focuses on research and innovation actions to support sustainable intensification of agricultural production systems, food systems for nutrition, and the expansion and improvement of agricultural markets and trades. If we want to improve African and Europe's agriculture, it is important to have in place a comparable and open database on agricultural soils information, similar to the European Soil Database, LUCAS. And this is where, this, where the Soil for Africa projects come in place. African soils are different from European soils, but both require new scientific knowledge for a better understanding of their functioning, identifying best management practices and technologies, to ensure not only the management of the soils in time, but also the economic activities that are based on these resources. Activities of the project are expected to contribute to this challenge. As you mentioned already, soil health is at the heart of many of the big solutions of our biggest global societal challenge today. Ensuring African soil health will be, the laying of, will be laying the foundation of the sustainable food production in Africa. Soil health in Europe is also taking a central role in the policies, notably as you have probably heard the European Green Deal and its strategies, such as the biodiversity strategy, the soil strategy, the farm to fork or the climate adaptation strategy. But we are still facing significant knowledge gaps, which prevent us from implementing more efficiently measures to hold land degradation and to apply climate smart soil management for better adaptation and resilience of our agricultural food production systems. So we need to better understand and value the potential trade-offs between sustainable management of agricultural soils and other economic, environmental and social dimensions of soil management. To overcome this gap in knowledge and to ensure soils are managed sustainably by 2030, the European Union has proposed a mission in the area of soil health. Soil, um, sorry, uh, EU missions are a new instrument under the Horizon Europe. This is the Research and Innovation Framework Programme. And missions are conceived as a way to bring science closer to citizens, to show that research and innovation can deliver solutions to major challenges. The soil mission set concrete targets, target, which requires work across sectors and land uses in rural and in urban areas. Targets are in the field of land degradation, erosion, pollution, soil sealing, as well as biodiversity protection and organic soil carbon. The mission aims at increasing soil literacy across society and, and includes activities for training, education, advising and citizen engagement. I bring this today because the mission has an important international component and it aims to reduce the global soil footprint of our food production systems. International cooperation will be particular, particularly channeled through research and monitoring activities that will capitalize on the existing r &I initiatives and partnerships. The mission will work with Africa through the FNSSA partnership and will harness the results of this project to harmonize international approaches to monitoring, building the technical and human capacity needed to implement soil health practices and identify investment opportunities in the area of soil health. With this, I would like to thank all the partners of the Soils for Africa project for the work and commitment to this project. With this, I wish you a very successful event and thank you very much for your attention.